Hello, Kim Kesty here, Design Concept Manager at Fun Stampers Journey, and I am bringing you a product spotlight today featuring two of my favorite products, Pen Pastels Married to Sparkle Silk. How fun is that, right? Let's check it out. I'm gonna show you a few tips on the basics of pan pastels along with this uh, fun little technique, but I think you guys are going to love it. So what I have is I have my Catalina Splash pan pastel, which by the way, I just had to bring the ribbon out because you guys know that we're a big fan of matching our product colors. So I love how these all work together, which also equally well match our cardstock and our ink and all of the things that are Catalina Splash. So super fun, set that aside a little bit. And I already have a little tag pre-cut. This is from our Steel Rule Die tag. And I already stamped it with our flower swirls. I did want to pop that in there just to kind of show you. I only used the one stamp with the little leaves and just did a fun little background all over my tag. So that guy is ready to go. And I wanted to kind of feature this little tool because we don't use it super often, but it's perfect for getting into small spaces. So this is the little soft knife that comes in your pan pastel kit. And these little guys I call little slippers because that's kind of what they look like. I don't know what the official name is, but you get a pack of these with your pastels also. And then you just slide it onto the tip of the uh, palette knife there. So I've already used a couple of those. So in order to color this guy, I'm going to use the, again, finer point of the little slipper. And I'm just going to come in and grab some of my pen pastel here. And I'm just going to come and color these flowers. So it's kind of fun to start darker in the middle and then just use your cute little slipper to go right out to the edge. Super easy, super quick. Isn't that color beautiful? Does not take much of this pastel to bring in an amazing amount of color. You really can't get that look with any other product. So again, super quick, super fun to color all of my flowers. I'm actually not even going to color my leaves in because I want to keep this tag pretty monochromatic. You could come in with a fine tip of the slipper and bring in, you know, perhaps some green lemongrass maybe, or kiwi slice, but don't really need to. Now again, I kind of shared this tip in one of our other videos, but if you get a spot that you don't care for, you can use any white artist eraser. So maybe this flower has a little bit too much around the edge. You can just come in and erase that. Isn't that fabulous? So anywhere you get pan pastel that you're not super happy with, just come in with the eraser and erase it. And again, I can come in and add color back to exactly where I want it. So love that little tip. So tag is colored beautifully. I'm going to set that aside. And then I'm going to use my palette knife in a little bit different way. So I'm going to take the little slipper off, just kind of slides off. You could also flip this guy around and put it back on and then you have a clean sponge, you know, for a different color. But for this guy, I want to show you a fun little tip. I'm just taking a little bit of the dust of the pan pastel and just, I'm not gouging this, keep in mind, I'm just lightly scraping the top. I just want a little bit of that Catalina dust on there. So that is plenty, it might even be a little too much. But I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take some of our sparkle silk, so you guys know and love this guy, right? Our fun little sparkle silk. Now have a little steady hand when you do this because what I'm going to do is Pour. I don't want to add my brush to this because I don't want to contaminate my sparkle silk brush. So I'm doing a little tiny pour. So have a steady hand. You don't want to pour your whole bottle out. Just a few little drops like that. That is perfect. And I'm going to use that same palette knife. I'm just come, come in here and blend it. I kind of wanted to show you how the pan pastel will coordinate with the water-based sparkle silk. And it'll just blend and dissolve in there just beautifully. So guess what you have, guys, right? Are you with me? Sparkle silk in any color you want. Now this does have sediment in it, so I would not recommend doing this like in one of the blending brushes, which I'm going to use. I'll show you. Um, this is just to do a little one-off. You could do a little bit larger quantity if you wanted to sparkle several projects. But it's just a fun little thing to do just for one or two. So this will wipe off with a baby wipe. I'll set that aside. Now what I'm going to do is just grab up some of my sparkle silk with my brush. Again, not putting it in my brush, but adding it to my brush and just picking it up and doing like a little flicking action, similar to what you would do with the actual sparkle silk itself, the tip of the brush. So again, just picking up a good portion of this and I'm just going to flick it on my project. Can you see it kind of coming on there? Oh yeah, there's some good ones. 
So now not only do you have your project colored with the pan pastel, you have the exact coordinating color to silk it with. So again, I have plenty on here. I could do several tags, I'm sure, but I'll set that aside. And then to finish this guy, I just added a sentiment and again brought in our Catalina ribbon. Let me show you the finished tag. See how cute? Love the sparkle silk. Love that it matches perfectly with my project. You can see these flower swirls are color colored a little darker. I love that. They could be lighter, just, you know, whatever you want. So again, out of the little tag, this guy is from the Wonderful Day stamp set, that little saying. I love these sentiments on this stamp set. So again, sweet, neat, and hard to beat. That's that little tag. So go ahead and practice with your pan pastels. Get in there and color your images. Use your little brushes, use your finger brush, or even the big wedge to color larger stamped images. You will have a blast, guaranteed. And have fun with the sparkle silk. I hope you try it and try some different colors out and let me know how it works out for you. In the meantime, if you want any of your questions answered or if you want to find a coach near you, you want to visit us on the website at www.funstampersjourney.com. Thanks. Thank you.